Good morning. Welcome to day 10 of our 21 days of prayer and Bible reading. Today our Bible reading is out of 1 John chapter 2. And we are going to just start off our time of prayer by listening in, tuning in to the Holy Spirit. Inviting Him into our day and into our lives right now. Let's take a few moments and just welcome, invite the Holy Spirit into our day to do what He wants to do in us and through us. Today in 1st John chapter 2, it brings up some things that might be a little hard for you to hear, and it's in regards to our relationships. It talks to us about how if we do not love our brothers and sisters, then we can't love God. It tells us that we can't live in the in righteousness. We can't live in right relationship with God if we have issues with our brothers and sisters. So maybe you have some turmoil in some relationships. Someone that you really don't like or you really maybe even could say hate. Here's the deal. We can't change them, but we can change us. We can change how we respond to them. We can change how we think about them. We can change how ultimately how we feel about them. And it all starts in prayer. So right now, if there is some bitterness you have towards an individual, a family member, whoever, we're going to ask God to forgive us for that and to help us. To help us change our thought patterns towards that person and to release them and forgive them for whatever it may be that is holding us bound up in bitterness. This might be a hard prayer to pray, but let's take a few moments and ask God to work on our hearts in the area of our relationships.
let's continue in this line of prayer. And let's pray for the individual that we might have unforgiveness towards or we might have bitterness towards. Let's pray that God will bless them. That God will open their hearts. That God will do things in their life that they may be seeking, that they may be praying for. We're going to pray good things for them. The Bible tells us to pray for our enemies, to pray for those who hurt us. Pray for them. Because the one result that will happen is our hearts will change towards them. part of 1 John 2 gives us some warning, gives us some reminders about the fact that Jesus is coming back. But before he does, there's going to be things that are going to try to tempt us and pull us away from him. So we have to stay focused on Jesus. We have to stay ready for his return. We don't know when it'll happen. So we have to stay ready and we stay expectant, looking for his return. Let's pray and ask God to help us stay ready, to stay alert at any time if Jesus came back, that we would be ready to go with him. the rest of our time here just asking God for any prayer needs that you may have Uh, maybe it's for a family member for a friend whether it's they need healing they need direction maybe you need direction in your life even if it's like God help me with a test that's coming up let's just take our request to the Lord right now because he cares for us and he loves whenever we will put our trust in him by asking him to work in our lives